today we will continue with the different types of fractions such as a unit fraction, proper fraction, and an improper fraction which can be converted into mixed fraction or mixed number. So let's get started. Let's have a quick review on fractions. We previously learned that fractions are parts of things and that they are written as one number over another. The number above the line is called the numerator, and it tells the number of parts used or shaded. In the first picture, it shows one part shaded, three parts shaded in figure two, and five parts in illustration three. The number below is called the denominator. It tells the total number of equal parts the whole thing is divided into. The first figure shows two equal parts. Next, five equal parts and eight equal parts. We have a fraction of one-half, three-fifths, and five over eight. Based on numerators and denominators, fractions can be classified into different types. Have you heard about a unit fraction? Study these examples. What have you noticed? That's right. The given fractions have the same numerator, that is, 1. A fraction which has 1 as the numerator is called a unit fraction. Another type of fractions is called a proper fraction. Look at the given examples. Compare the numerator with the denominator. 3 is less than 8. 2 is less than 3. 1 is less than 4, and 5 is less than 12. When the numerator is less than the denominator, the fraction is called a proper fraction. There is also what we call an improper fraction. When do we call a fraction as improper? Study these examples. Compare the numerator with the denominator. 4 is greater than 3. 5 is greater than 4. And on the other side, we have 6 is equal to 6, 8 equals 8, and 5 equals 5. What conclusion can you make about an improper fraction? When the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator, it is called an improper fraction. An improper fraction can be converted into a mixed number. Let's look at the previous example, 4 over 3. In this figure, you can clearly see 1 whole plus 1 third. Let's try the other one, 5 over 4. It's the same as 1 whole plus 1 fourth. A mixed fraction, therefore, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. It is easy to convert improper fraction to a mixed number when there are pictures. But how about if the given fraction is purely numbers, like 9 over 4? How do you convert this improper fraction into a mixed number? Do you recall the meaning of the fraction bar? It means division, right? So 9 over 4 is just the same as 9 divided by 4. How many sets of 4 can you get out of 9? Just 2, but when you multiply this by 4, we only used up 8. That means we still have left 1. So we now have a whole number, which is 2, plus a remainder of 1 over 4. Normally, when we convert an improper fraction into a mixed number, the denominator remains the same. It is quite easy and you can practice it on your own. I will keep this video short, but in our next video, we will discuss how to change a mixed number back to an improper fraction.